Okay, hi everyone, PSN Thinking here, and today I am starting Crash Fever. And yes, that is Hatsune Miku on the screen, her little bitch ass. Apparently they're doing some stupid crossover event with the Vocaloids and whatnot, so yeah, let's just get to the shit. One day, the matriarch went haywire. We had placed far too much faith in her. Alice is now in the grip of chaos. Only you can restore peace to this land. Let us depart then. The future rests in your hands. System match detected. Welcome to the world of Alice. Your mission is to put a stop to the rampaging avatars, cooperate with other players, and stand up to the nasty brutes infecting the system. What the fuck? Why is a rabbit head talking to me? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's start. So to attack enemies, learn the control panels. Tap a panel to break it. Break panels to make adjacent panels the same color. Design. Okay, so break a green, all the green break. After three taps, you'll attack the enemy. Try tapping on two more panels. Any color will do. Whatever strikes your fancy. Let's review. Tap any panel to break it. You'll attack the enemy after three taps. You can... Okay, so if this is anything like that Puzzles and Dragons bullshit, and I don't even know why the fuck I started it, because I do not like games like this. <laughs> crash panels. Connect six or more panels to make a crash panel appear. Start by getting rid of any panels that are in the way. Oh, you can also drag to see what all will connect. Breaking a crash panel will cause a crash skill to activate. Let's try breaking a crash panel, shall we? We connect 12 or more panels, a special crash panel will appear. Breaking a special creates a bomb that takes out any nearby panels. Try creating several special crash panels and break them all at once for a chain reaction! Area boss has appeared. Every time a unit attacks, the enemy's count goes down by one. Once the enemy reaches zero, they attack. Break hearts to restore your health. That's I have to, they're making it. And there's a super crash point. Damn, they trying to make me hit this pool with a fucking fatality. You got three freaking special shits.
Yeah, bitch. <laughs> he died. So I got a new kick, another character, an electro pod. Low yellow damage to one enemy, low damage to one enemy for his C skill, craft skill. So on the character screens, we have their energy up here, a picture of them there, if you can zoom in on, stats down here. Damn. Okay, whatever. We'll get to that. So now they want me to form my own party. Form parties to take on quests. First, select the unit you want to change. So you can play with other people eventually, but for now they'll have me play with myself just for the... Have me play by myself for the tutorial. And then you can select helpers as well. Damn, look at all them reds right off the bat. Hell yes. Units have different attributes. You can tell units attribute by looking at the color of their icon frame. This unit's attribute is red. Fire, basically. Breaking panels are the same color unit as the unit increases attack power. Try keeping some iron breaking panels. You can tell an enemy's attribute by the icon and its, and its HP dodge. Red beats green, green beats yellow, yellow beats blue, blue beats red, so on. Now you can attack this green enemy as a matter of priority. Try attacking with a red human. Also, your number of taps is down at the bottom right and bottom left hand side of the screen. Well, he got fucked. <laughs> And also, each turn, your characters switch. Every... Your characters take turns, just like the enemies take turns. You can also skip your turn, I'm guessing. Huh. Empty rooms. And here we go. Oh damn! He did the fuck out of that! Tap the skill button once it's active. Each unit has its own skill. If the skill OK icon starts flashing, the unit skill is ready to use. Okay. Okay! So this blue lady has her skill OK, so we can use it. Deals massive blue damage to one enemy. Oh, crystal ice mirror, Sorry, no Shira Yuki. But they have a certain number of turns before they can use their skills. Area boss has appeared. This bitch got a machine. When the fever gauge is full, you can unleash a burst of fever. Tap the fever button to activate once it's full. Fever mode. Oh, what? Oh, 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 Double thumb action, double thumb action. A, 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 O. That was amazing. Jesus! Yeah, she's fucked. That bitch died before she knew what hit her.
Let's review. When the fever gauge is full, you can unleash feverish mayhem. Break lots of panels at once to fill your fever gauge more quickly. Uh huh. Clear. So this game is actually halfway decent. That looks horrible. Looks like there's a space that shouldn't be. What the fuck? Did I accidentally hit the space? There we go. On Shiny Jazz. Where's the mission button? So anyway, now we're at our main screen. We have our home button down on the bottom left. Quest next to that. Units, shop. I didn't say click anything. <laughs> hatcher and friends. Oh my gosh. And friends. So the hatcher. Mm, I'm just going. Okay, the fuck. So home screen. We got news right here. Community. Gift. The characters. Hugo. Agent Joe. <laughs> Electropod. The boy, Agent Joe. We got quests, join room, which I'm guessing you can use to join other players and their parties. And then down here we have the different, I'm guessing hatching events, or just this different info period. And also info down here where it says details. So hatchers take what are called polygons in order to use them. The hatcher is the gotcha system in this game basically. It's where you randomly win a character. So let me go to the gifts real quick. Login bonus. I got 300 links. Where the fuck those are? I got 30 polygons. And I guess for people for the, mm, I guess for people starting out, I guess or for the Miko event, you get two two characters. We got Star Dancer Rabbit Yukin for the Miko event, and Little Hump Day Dump Day. Experience key, bit key, limit break key, polygons, 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 more polygons, <laughs> a lot of polygons. <laughs> now I've got missions, complete the tutorial, get 50 more polygons, and then there's a list of quests down here, and what you get for each of them, as well as your weekly missions. So they just gave me 320 polygons right off the bat, which is enough for this 10 times hatcher. For, I mean, the 10 draw hatcher, I mean. Anyways, wait, what? Get free units using link points. Take a crack at a link hatcher for 100 points. Link points are gained by enlisting the A. Okay, so this is basically the friend, the friend point. Gotcha. So I'll go ahead and do that just to get me some characters right off the bat, besides the two they just gave me. Tap the egg. Cool, I got a level max Thunder Metal Duck. Watchdog Pochi. Fire Metal Duck. Cool, so times 10 in the first guarantees either Miku or Len. Ten times here gains you one guaranteed cross-promotional unit. Ten here just guarantees a couple of four stars. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the game a bit more and get me some more polygons to draw with. Oh, they exceed my maximum energy. Whatever the fuck that means. Let me go home. So up here we have our rank. Current EXP and how much you need to rank up. Number of energy. But holding your finger up here shows you that. Look at community. Takes you to the Facebook page. I'm guessing I already got the game. I don't know why I did that. I thought it'd be a giant like button there. Not a play game button. More missions and whatnot. And yeah. So what's in units? Units. I can't enhance or awaken yet. Here you can sell units. Ghost store exchange ghosts for units and other goodies. Not sure what ghosts are yet. Folder allows you to look at your units. Unit database looks at your units as well. Limit break reset. Convert fruit fused into... I guess limit break reset allows you to... Undo a limit break and get the materials back from it. I'm gonna switch your ass out for. Maybe that's not meant for attack. It says, get a massive amount of EXP by enhancing another unit with this one. So it looks like that's just enhancement material, which you use to level up other characters. So there is an attack one I have, at least. I'll come back, Agent Joe. Let me see something. Okay, yeah, so these aren't meant for attacking. Those metal ducks are not meant for attacking. They're meant for leveling up other... Kervik devs. Now if we go to the shop... We can buy polygons. Recover energy. Expand the number of units you can hold. And get extra friend slots. Alright, so that's what the hatcher is. In the friends section, you can search for friends, accept, look at who's added you to cancel or view them, blah blah. Chat for the Crash Fever players. Okay, so let us begin. What are the event quests? I'm guessing I won't really need to do these Miku events because I've got enough to get her from the Hatcher, guaranteed. Event schedule. They even tell you what events are coming up. Oh, that's amazing. But not a lot of games. Actually, no games I know do that yet. I only got 10 energies. Can't even do none of these yet. So I'm just go ahead and do some uh, more quests. Okay. What would I say? Play with someone totally new for poly polygon bonus. Can be done up to 100. Okay, yep. Let's wait. What does that mean? Like another player or by myself, another character? I guess I'll add Maxi. I guess I'll use Chubby Bunny. I want along now, Chubby Bunny. That's not the team I wanted. No. There we go. Start.
having some <clears throat> playing a game that involves both Lloyd for the time being and already has its own somewhat electronic music. Why not play some book Lloyd music in the background? Which we will. Someone got rain. We're picking this ball.
god, it's on repeat! Okay, there we go. Someone got Kaito, let's get it.
my god, oh my god. I'm trying to get off the things, get off the things. Alright, go to the home screen. Is it this guy? Huh. Hoping getting rid of those will connect all those blues. Yup, ba baum. Ba baum. Area boss appeared. Bullshit. Give me two fucking, three fucking Kaito panels and no fucking blues to connect to them, you fuck bitches. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, well, that'd be mad because he killed all three of these fuck asses. Oh! I don't know what the fuck that is, but okay. the Huey, Louie, Dewey, and Quee. <laughs> Huey, Louie, Dewey, and Quee. Oh, 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 oh.
Okay, so now I can enhance my characters. So let's do it. Which I'm not going to yet, but I will one. I'm saving my enhancer shit for whoever I get from the patch. It's already max level, never mind, okay. Super success! A white tiger. That means there is a Seiryu, the blue dragon, the azure dragon, I mean, the Genbu, the black tortoise, and Suzaku, the red phoenix. for Biako.
Disaster Neon Beast. Oh, 
Oh, he was close. So for now it looks like this is all I'm going to be doing for a while because before I can even enhance my fucking units I got to beat stage 3, world 3. Not that that helped at all. Mm. 
So I'll just go to character awakenings, do that real quick, and that'll be the end of the video. I'm not going to draw nothing from the gacha yet till the last day of the Miku event. And someone got lame. This is about to be some shit. <clears throat> oh, never mind, damn.
you want to do that? Fuck, whatever. That's 
amazing. That is such a I must get that. So you must get that. Damn, that asshole. What a super move. Boss up here.
Oh, I need that. No, 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 what the dumb motherfucker? Oh, Jesus. I said, do that dumb shit. Fuck, wow. And my fucking combo's fucked. Y'all seen how they six fucking yellow heart, pink hearts could have connected. That dumb shit. Jesus, fuck. Can't catch this shit because. And 
think the most safe. So let's go ahead and look at Awakening real quick, see if I can do it, and then that's it for this video. Looks like with Awakening, the units take certain other units, and their picture changes somewhat. Even the EXP monsters can freaking awaken. He just takes his glasses off. <laughs> Her eyes show. And she gets a little boobage going on. <laughs> oh, she already had boobage going on. So yeah, for now I can't awaken anything yet. Yet. Well, I think I can awaken this guy. So let's go ahead. I love how I started with the song too. And that's it. I didn't say no, no need, no. Can't build my sprint account yet. I have no friends. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's it for this video, so I will catch y'all later.